This is Song Jin Ho, and he is. Well, at least not right now, but he ends up becoming a true gangster. And this video basically is just, I'm just going to tell you guys how much of a gangster Song Jin Ho is. It's basically my top moments in solo level and from the beginning to where I stopped. Cue the intro. <laughs> Before we move on, I would like you guys to just click that subscribe button right now. It helps us a lot. And maybe just like and turn on post notifications if you want to be notified when we post a new video. We post videos twice a week, every week. What are you waiting for? Click that button. A quick explanation of the solo leveling world because I think it's needed so that you would understand the context of why Song Jin Woo is gangster is that so in the world of solo leveling and whatever mysterious dungeons just appear out of nowhere and they contain monsters and these monsters obviously can come out of the dungeon and eat people luckily there are specific individuals they're called hunters and they are i'm stronger i'm smarter i'm better i am better than other human beings and their job is to go into the dungeons, clear the dungeons out to protect mankind and in reward they get paid for clearing the dungeons. But these hunters, they're born at certain ranks. So like when you're born, you have a rank and it goes from E to S rank and you cannot change your rank. Once you're born in E rank, you're going to be trashed your whole life. If you were born in S rank, you basically are God your whole life unfortunately my man song jin wo was born in iraq so the beginning of his life was not that great until he met this crazy ass looking nightmare from elm street before he met this guy he was considered the weakest ever hunter ever luckily he never died after he met this guy he died and came back as the only person in the whole universe best to my knowledge that can level up meaning can change ranks if he trains and the more he completes quests so technically he is a broken character in this universe already because he can level up right and everybody else can't the first badass moment that i witnessed after he trained up leveled up he was about a b rank at this point was him versus lee gyung woo i think they call him hajun and his crew if you guys don't remember this guy he's not that important he's the younger he's the older brother of the s rank they tried to kill him when he went into the dungeon with him and his his boy at that time so he brings out his knife and just rinses through the whole crew and I remember the shock factor that they all faced. They were like, yo, but he's an E-rank. But he's an E-rank. And then obviously he kills them all. And then he goes forward to make the boy one of his soldiers. Like, that's just crazy. That's just crazy. The second badass moment for me, this is different. This might not be a badass moment for everybody else, but it means a lot to me. He was in a dungeon completing a dungeon and then he sensed that his sister was in trouble so he flew out on a dragon like Daenerys Targaryen to his sister's school and before he even got there the trolls that were hunting his sister that were about to kill his sister were already shook they were already like someone strong is coming oh my god he arrives and he commands them like that his oh lord that his servant is like did i tell you to move bro bro you can't get more badass than that and when they when he tried to get some questions from them and when he couldn't get his answers he just proceeds to just execute them mercilessly and at that time like when reading that chapter i really felt like he was changing as a person like he had no heart anymore he just mercilessly just crushes somebody's head with his feet I'm like, yo, Song Jin Wo is different now. He's a true 
gangster. That's what I'm saying. And for my last part, yo, this manhwa is just, I like to call this hype manhwa because every moment is hype. So it was hard for me to choose one or three, to run it down to three. But the last one, obviously, it just for me, it's just clear. It's just when he fought the Ant King, you know, Muriam Sama from Hunter Hunter. I mean, he's not Muriam, but it's technically Muriam. This, before that, we met a couple S ranks that were gonna go to the dungeon. They were feeling like bad guys. Yeah, they went there. Oh, I am the best in Japan, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We are the best guild. Rinsed! Killed off all of them. They needed my boy Song Jin Woo. I mean, I wouldn't say he dealt with him with ease, but he dealt with him with ease. He went out of the fight with no injuries, no torn limbs, managed to kill the Ant King, and for the best part, he just told that king to arise. And now, he has an Ant King that is stronger than the majority of the S-Ranks. That is his most loyal servant. And he was like, yo, go take care of my sister. Oh my God. This boy is gangster. Anyway, that brings me to the end of my list of the top five um, of my top moments and reasons why Song Jin Woo is gangster. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm passionate about this manual. But don't forget to drop a like, you know, and subscribe. Please comment down your top moments in, song, uh, in solo leveling. And if you haven't watched solo leveling and you're still here, I mean, I guess you like spoilers. But make sure you read solo leveling and you finish it. We might be getting an anime soon. So, get on to it. Bombs out.